What's going on guys? I wanted to make a quick video because I have a product that I recently discovered that I'm in love with. I think every vinyl fan should own this because it's cheap and it works. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I do not know the people at Goka Technology. They never reached out to me. This is purely something that I discovered on my own that I love. I think you should know about right after this. So yes, the people at Goka Technology, I guess that's what it's called. Also, Renico on Amazon. I'm not sure. More or less, they just made a record cleaning brush. Now, for a long time, I've been a fan of carbon fiber brushes. You know, these guys. It's done me pretty well. It does a pretty good job of reducing static, takes some of the stuff off of the top if it's apparent and not really caked in. But something I've noticed is that over time, these brushes tend to get a little, uh, wonky the, the some of the hairs can sometimes fall out depending on the quality some of the older ones from the 60s are better than the ones now but it just for some reason stopped being as effective so i was looking for another solution i saw this and i was impressed by the design so i wanted to get it because it was 11 dollars. i figured hey can't hurt to try it i've been using it for about a week and honestly it makes a huge difference and it's super easy to use here she is this is the Velvet Record Cleaner Brush. Really nice design. Uh, it has two compartments in it. The top one removes to actually reveal the brush. Uh, really nice to the touch, very soft, and picks up stuff really well off of the record. I'll show you how to use it in a minute, but you use it in a very similar way to the anti-static brush, except I find this to be more effective. Other side has a compartment down here which has a small little brush that you hold there. This can be used to clean your stylus, although it seems a little rough to the touch for me. I don't know if I'd trust this with the stylus. I would probably stick with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser or a brush specifically for a stylus. However, what this is used for successfully is to remove all of the dust that accumulates on the actual brush itself after you use it a few times. You can also use your finger to kind of get it off too, but if there's a lot of dust, you can definitely get it off quickly with this brush and then put it back in its little snap case. When you're done using the brush, it's really easy. You just put this back on, boom. Compact, easy, beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. But let's see how it works. All right, let's use this Newberry Comics Red exclusive Paul Simon Graceland record, just because I want to brag that I have it. So this is a little dusty. It could use a little bit of a clean. So this brush right now is without any dust on it. It is clean. So the way you'll actually use this is very simple. You will start the record spinning on the turntable and then you will hold the brush perpendicular. So like that. And you just kind of let it slide over like that. And I look now at the brush and I can see some dust on it. So you can actually physically see the dust that has come off the record and is now affixed to your brush. So it's a physical representation of what it actually does. Awesome. I'm super impressed with the durability of this product. Something about it is just different than your average carbon fiber brush because it has a, a solid form to it. And I'm noticing that the records that I'm using it on are definitely less staticky than before. And it takes away some of that excess dust and debris that causes pops and ticks on rotations and little noises that shouldn't really be there. Like I said, it's a cheap product. It's only $11 on Amazon. I have put a link in the description if you want to try it out. I definitely recommend it. And I think it's a really simple investment to clean your records super easily. Now, of course, this goes without saying, Wet cleaning your records with a record cleaner is definitely the best way to do it if it's really dirty and has a lot of wear on it. You're not gonna get really deep with this thing. But for your average play where it's just a little dust or debris on top, like maybe some scraps from the inside of the sleeve, this is the best and quickest way to do it takes like three seconds before each play and you're gonna make a huge difference. If you get this product or have this product, let me know what you think, leave a comment. If you like this video, I will do more product reviews down the road for stuff that I like or things that you should stay away from. Please subscribe to this channel for more awesome vinyl videos and I'll be seeing you guys soon.